This is the Miyazaki Prefecture, on the eastern coast of the island of Kyushu. It's important in the traditional history of Japan. There is a book on the ancient history of Japan by Kojiki, written at the beginning of the 8th century. Kojiki describes when Japan was created. The book claims that the Hyuga province, which is today's Miyazaki, to be the place where God first descended. All gods in Japan descend from the sky. When they descend, they ride on clouds. On the contrary, if you open a book of Greek mythology, the gods in Europe descend riding the back of a winged horse. That's very different. In Japan, China, and other oriental cultures, all gods descend with clouds. European gods, angels for example, have wings. No Japanese god has wings. That's why they descend with clouds. The Kojiki book describes how the god Ninigo no Mikoto descended to Mount Takechiho. He took a wife and they had children. The godly family grew and expanded in the area of Miyazaki. One of the descendants grew up in Miyazaki. He decided to move to the east to settle in the center of Japan and, thereby, start to build a larger country. He accompanied his friends and boarded a ship going from Mimitsu to Yamato, today's Nara prefecture. He became the first emperor of Japan, Emperor Jinmu. The people of Miyazaki still celebrate the life of Emperor Jinmu and shrines in a yearly festival, Jinmu Masudi. The Miyazaki area isn't mentioned in the traditional histories for many years. In the 5th or 6th centuries, the people built a tomb in Saitobaru. Nobody is sure about what kind of people built this ancient tomb, but it is said that people associated with the legendary first emperor Jinmu stayed in this area. It is said that the leader of these people was located at Saitobaru and made a large tomb for him. The Hyuga province kept a low profile for many years. Between the 6th and 8th centuries, the people there revolted against the emperor. That was the revolt of Kumaso. There are records of increased trade with the Korean peninsula. It is assumed that the Miyazaki area figured prominently in that trade. By the 16th century, powerful clans were fighting for control of the different provinces. <laughs> Although there is no definite record that can prove it, this area was governed by the Shimizu clan. The side of the bank closer to the mouth of the river was governed by Edo Bakufu, who cleared the land to expand the rice field. Leaders of the area distributed pine tree seedlings that were planted by the farmers. In this way, people planted pine trees in the coastal areas of Japan. The pine tree forests that stretch over these areas are commonly managed by villages named Shinbyo. In the pine tree forests, there are Sumiyoshi shrines and Eda shrines whose origins are with the ancestors of Japan. People pay homage to those shrines, wishing that the pine trees not be desecrated. This is how the concept of pine trees and sacred places has developed. The tradition of sacred trees persists in the forest area around Miyazaki today. Great care is taken to preserve the natural beauty of the trees. The Sigaya Resort plays an active role in conservation. Miyazaki is a place rich in history and tradition. This is the perfect place for the Sigaya Resort and the Phoenix Country Club.